Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. It's Monday. It's episode 75 of Ladder Leverage, and we got the man, Mr. Bushar. How are we doing today, sir? I'm doing pretty good. I uh, I had a whole lot of fun with this list, which is definitely a bit of an oddity uh, <laughs> recently. I haven't, uh, haven't been having the most fun, but I went full unga bunga mode on making this one, and... Uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I seem to attract the 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 weirdos on the ladder, so I always get some interesting games. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, you figure there's a lot of greedy stuff going around, so I mean, there's really nothing greedier than Thrive. You know what I mean? It's and if if, if they slow roll you and play little stuff, like and it it gets awkward for them real fast. Um, yeah, and like you said with the the greedy things. This Thrive list enables round control so, so, so easily, and it punishes those greedy styles of gameplay really, really well. Yeah, especially on red, where you can start. Mm -hmm. you, you you control the, the Thrive and how you can... Like in the one game, you'll see we were able to jump ahead pretty easily, and then they start having to play, you know, they go into panic mode and start playing their win cons, which is always good for you. Um, yeah, and you're passively developing, like, what, six points a turn? Yeah. By, like, turn four or five or something? Right, yeah. It, it, I was I was impressed with it, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Um, what was I going to say? Um, so, you, you took a little bit of, of a break from, from streaming somewhat. What are your, what's your streaming schedule going on for right now? Or do you have, like, a uh, set stream, schedule? Yep, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, starting at about, um noon eastern which is 6 p.m cest yeah so definitely check them out uh i'm gonna have the uh, all his socials and stuff the twitch the youtube there is another video on his channel for this this video so if you want some more um you know demos on on the list uh he's got a video on there i think they're both against monsters aren't they the games you uh, play? yeah yeah played so, two overwhelming hungries yeah so we got a little bit of a, a variety here if, if you can call it that. <laughs> um, uh, well, what I was going to say, how has the break been doing for you, man? It seems like you've you've cleansed some, you know what I mean? It, it, it definitely, I, I, I have the utmost respect for you streamer guys, man. I, I Every once in a while, I'll do one on like a Saturday and I do like three or four hours and I'm like, I, I, I feel like I want to just start smashing things. It's like, so I could, I'm, <laughs> for you guys that like, to me, like the Mount Rushmore of streamers is like you... Spiro, Ocean Mud, and Pumpkin when he is around. And, you know, you guys have always been just like always there, always with Glint. And you know, I I I have like I said, the utmost respect for you guys for what you guys do. Yeah, I mean, streaming as a format certainly is uh, a little bit more vulnerable to tilt than like making YouTube videos is. Right. Um, I was feeling that to be honest, so I had to cut back on it a little bit. Yeah, every having a doing every other day. I that seems like it's uh, it's doable, and you can uh, you know just do some YouTube content on the thing. And if it turns out you know you didn't get the chance to make YouTube content, you just take a couple games from your stream, slap it on mm -hmm. YouTube. Here you go, it all works out. Um, exactly. And you've been playing some Dark Souls too. I oh wish... yeah, I actually just finished it. Really, really good game. Yeah, mm -hmm. I wish I could play those really, really like hard games, but I just, I'm, I'm no good at it, man. Flat out, um, I'm, a, I'm probably gonna, I'm, I'm gonna play Cyberpunk, but I'm not gonna play it on like the hardest of modes because I just know I'm gonna get shot in the face 150 times in the first like hour of gameplay that I'm playing. So. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, awesome having you on, sir. Um, we'll have to do it again sometime, or if you know you want me on your channel, just hit me up and let me know. But um, we got a couple games for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Mr. Busher, thank you for recording, sir. We greatly appreciate you. Well, thanks for having me. Awesome. Here's a couple games. We'll see you at the end, guys. Yeah. Mm. Uh-oh. Now, this is the... Any lost oh, well, we got a red coin. That's good news. Point slam versus point slam. I, uh, I played this matchup twice, and I won it twice. Might have been a fluke, but <laughs> we'll see. I feel confident. <laughs> Goal gotta go. Uh, mm -hmm. Do we keep the drowner? They don't really have any movement. Tools. Yeah, he doesn't have anything that's real locked, so drowner isn't super good here. 
So two enough. griffins. Okay. Um, so he's going to start out with a larva. That's a given. Probably, assuming he drew it. Our uh, our goal here is we Whoa. really want to get the... oh, a Nero into a larva. <laughs> Holy shit! This man really uh, wants these on the board. That's an expensive larva for sure. <laughs> so yeah, we're we're just gonna go for our larva, and then we're gonna make sure to use our leader ability because uh, I said this earlier, but I don't think it's making it into the video. We use it to play around Manticore, Predatory Dive, and Maruna. Yeah. Yeah, because this has Manticore, possibly, Maruna. Mm -hmm. Holy shit! Wow, okay. This man is ready to play. Uh, Anity. I've never seen them take this line, but still, I think getting round control is somewhat possible with all this Thrive potential that we have, so let's just jam the second larva. Do we stack, or we don't want to because of the wear cat? Mm -hmm. If we bait a wear cat, that could be good news for us. Because, I mean, like, we, we got the two armor anyway. Let's just see if we can do it, right? That's true. It's not, yeah, it's not like we'd really care if you wanted to go for a wear cat. And it would mean that our neckers end up living, which would be really, really good. Kiki more. Okay, th this is very confusing. <laughs> <laughs> so he just wants to eat the the ones like the little rat friends so we just drop beast huh or do we, um, or do, we do the griffins now how, how does the math work out on this um yeah we, we probably want to drop the beast it just uh it gives us a little bit more early tempo while making our play next turn be a little bit worse do we think he's got the white frost card or whatever should we play around oh, it good yeah, yeah, probably a good call to play around that. All right, so he can't pass now. I don't think he was planning on it, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Pay, uh, parasite friend. Yeah, that's what he's going for. He just wants to eat these things. Yep. That's uh, that's really not the best Kiki more worker I've ever seen. To be fair, usually they get answered, but... Right. Okay, pretty easy griffin then. Let's set those ghouls up. And we could take it with a griffin, right? Uh, oh yeah, we, we definitely should be able to. Yeah, he's not uh, passively engining for very much, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> the what is this, the, the man? Kiki more train. So we just do it again, uh, Griffin. Mm-hmm. I don't. I think if he was gonna play the frost, he'd have played it by now. Yeah, that's that's fair enough. And we've actually tempoed ahead. We may not. Uh, we may not even give him his card back. To be honest. We've got a big engine set up, and we're ready to go. Sir, he has the the Kiki Moore dream going here. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't account for that. <laughs> and he's going to get the fog lit out. All right. Is he putting that range, bro? I don't think what he's about your? Okay, he's going to overswarm himself. This, this is ridiculous. What is going on? <laughs> Okay, uh, do we have a way to tempo ahead? He um, just guaranteed that our beast get passively gets two more ticks. So, what are we down by? We're down by 19, we need to play 20. We're getting four, so we need to play 16. We got a leader ability for one. We could, find, uh, we could go for the... Old wait, I, I think Goliath's enough? So we're just... 12, 13, 14, 15, 16... Yeah, Goliath is just enough. Might as well uh, just take the guaranteed tempo ahead, and he's um he's, he's got obviously got to keep playing in, except he's running out of row space. Yeah, 
There goes the Kikis. Look at him. <laughs> a thunder. All right. So he wants to kill it. So we go um, conquer or do we go werewolf? Werewolf's not going to be that good in a short round anyways. Yep, I agree. Werewolf is also on Thrive Curve right now. By one point. Mm -hmm. And some well, and some easy. bonuses, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's going to go one more time, too, huh? Mm-hmm. He hasn't tipped his hand. Oh, well, yeah, he has because he's a Nero. 80. Ah, would now, you look at that. Now we understand the game plan. Um, Conqueror tempos ahead, so pretty easy Conqueror. A fitting gift for our king. He doesn't have room for Triss. Mm hmm. I bet he's feeling real awkward now. Oh, yeah, oh, look at that. No. Haunt. And the Kiki Moore Express was not <laughs> enough. <laughs> he's probably going to have uh, Plague Maiden. I would assume as well. Yeah. All right. But we're we got the round control and the win on even, so we're feeling pretty solid. Drowner goes, huh? Mm-hmm. Do we just keep this hunter or this rider to thin, or do we dump it? Uh, I I'd say let's keep it. It's a bit optimistic to hope that we pull it off of Aberon, to be honest. All right. We just get that out now, though, right? Um. The riders. Yeah. yeah. Now maybe we play around Werecat a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's got the frost though. Yeah, I, I think he's a swarmy list. I don't. He probably doesn't. Oh, have you know what he is? He's Morntart. Isn't oh, that, isn't that what it is? That where you play all those? You might be right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So maybe Drowner actually is broken. <laughs> oh shit, we missed out. Oh well, we could. Well, no, we can't. Yeah, I mean, if we force it out in round two anyway, we're obviously fine. Because it tempos for really, really low, so if we can make him play it, we're feeling good. Oh, no, they're insectoids. He needs beast, doesn't he? Or is it all units? I think Morantart consumes everything, doesn't she? Unless they changed her. They changed yeah. her so many times. I don't know, man. Oh, dude. When it comes to cards, they've changed them so many times on me. And people are like, why don't you play this card the right way? It's like, I have 15 different versions of this fucking card in my head. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Uh, so we got Oberon, Spear Tip, and Yeghern. Hmm. Or do we just go well, 7, 9, and then go Yeah, I'd it? say let's just sequence low to high for now. If we decide that we need to play the, the Naglfar, we're definitely Yet capable of doing so. But might as well try to save it for now. Ooh. Fancy. Okay. Well, he's got a, a decent bit of tempo, but at the same time, so do we. Right. Yep, I totally agree. Old Spirit Tip makes sense here. I think we just want to see that debt loft. Mm-hmm. That's totally what we're searching for. Current there. Is it a Kiki deck? Wait, wait, no. It, it, could it be? Okay, no, it's playing. Like, hmm. Do we take the pass now with the one card, or...? Yeah, I mean that's what that's what I'm thinking about. Oh. But no, he goes, he tempos ahead. So, um, Naglfar for an eager and obviously just gets answered by that uh, that the thing Phantom. on board. Yeah. The mm -hmm. What are our other options there? Uh, Oberon, Old Spear Tip, Ada doesn't play that good. So we got. Two OKs and well, no, we have dominance. We're good on that. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I, I guess let's just go for it. Let's see what happens. It's a bit of an awkward spot. Old spirit tip, pretty easy choice. Yeah. So now he plays. Does he have room for it? one, two, three, four, five, yeah. six, seven, eight? He had to eat a one. Wait. Chris. 
Yennefer. He had to eat oh. the one, and it didn't even give him any points. Yeah. So he definitely doesn't have a debt left. Do we want to force out this second Plague Maiden? Oh, wait. How much does Plague Maiden play for? It, it would temple Seven. for like 10 total because of the, the Phantom. Oh, okay. Um, so you, we would have to have a, a 16 to 2 0 here, and we don't. We have a 12. So we're out. But we can still force it. Do we want to? Top decks aren't hmm. very good. <laughs> well, then we got ghouls. I mean. Yeah, I mean, the top decks are pretty okay. But at the same time, he's out of leader ability consumes. Yeah, I, I think we can probably pass here and feel fine about it. Yeah, last say Oz roll is always good, too. Mm -hmm. Unless he has it, and then he gets one a little bit better than ours. Yeah, we would get two extra points if he goes for it early. All right. Do we think it's the Morin Tart Ooh. shenanigans? <laughs> we uh, dropped the Nectar for sure, right? What's well, left? I mean, it could have been all right, especially if we drew into Oberon, but... Um, Do we just what dump? does Morin Tart deploy as? Melee. Two, two damage, or two... He's two power? Yeah, I think so. Okay, then we're, we're totally good by just holding on to Ada then. Oh. A little better, I guess. 23 cards. Whole bunch... That's gotta be what it is. <laughs> gotta be. I don't know, man. He's playing a whole lot of doomed units. Yeah, that's true. So we're still um, just going leader and... I think we open Eager in here, because if we go Bruxa, we're just asking for the bleeding to go away, don't we? Right. Plus, we don't get the dominance. Mm -hmm. Where does he get damage from? Parasite, probably the only thing, but why would you run that with all this well craziness going on? He could be overswarming pretty consistently, so having specials could be good news for him. Damage specials. Great. But let's hope not. <laughs> right. Maybe I should have played that on melee. Why do you say that? He might be a Igni friend. Well, I guess we're not playing it mm. yet anyway, so. Mm -hmm. Um, pretty easy Bruxa now though, obviously. Just play it on the one, huh? Um, we can play it on this, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we we should probably put it on the warrior. Because if we put it on a one, we're kind of just betting on him having something like a Triss. And if he doesn't, we, we lose a couple points. All right. Well, this is getting tense. I know, okay, There right? goes a Bone Talisman. Um, so we just go straight at him. Huh? Yeah, probably. All right. This is better sequencing if he has a zap to take out the Egern. It's also fine if he goes for like a Triss or something. I think, I think we beat a lot of things. He's making it longer for us. And that's I just think a. He put a melee. <laughs> yeah, he did put a melee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I was going to say, he's making it longer. That ain't no good. Yeah, I'm. I'm curious. I guess he doesn't run Triss? I don't know, man. He thinned through his deck a lot. He probably the lowest thing he had was probably like a five, so it probably wasn't even worth it. Yeah, probably. Okay, okay. Alright. Yeah, I mean, seeing oh. that leader ability, something was wrong. Humans but is he no the... In is he a Shiru friend? That's the question. Yeah, a Shiru apparently is much less popular than it used to be. They're dropping a ghoul. Mm-hmm. And do we do we care about the movement? I mean, I, I guess we maybe do. He's a Dunka friend. Yeah. So Bruxa seems like an okay mulligan. Oh. All right. It's pretty nice. And if he is a Shiru friend, this is probably gonna be a pain in the ass. But hopefully he's not. <laughs> right. Yeah, because it's, it's going to get 
It's gonna get real crispy in here if he <laughs> if he does. Peller, oh, turn yeah. one. Okay. <laughs> Bruce Willis is proud. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, so we go. Do we go Necker first or we go Larva first? Uh, probably Larva because they're a little bit less vulnerable to getting damaged. Obviously, he may not want to do damage to the armor here. Whereas if we give him two turns to deal with one power Neckers, he may be able to actually do that. Yeah. Well, he circles one of them off the bat, right? Uh, probably. Okay, fair enough. So we just dropped the other now. Yep. I should probably... With this coin, it should make abusing coin potentially quite easy. We'll see if maybe we force him out early. Mm. Winning on even, though, would be really, really huge if we could do it. If he plays a protector here, that's pretty good. Get that out of him. Oh. Well. Oh, he's getting greedy. Okay, let's, uh, let's do some math. Because I think we probably want to try to tempo ahead here because I think he's obviously trying to tempo out. We get a leader ability to put us at four and we're going to passively get four thrives to put us at eight. And then that just means that we need to play six total so Alpha Werewolf can do it. So we just drop the, the werewolf. Yep. And we don't really want to be uh, hitting thrive curve with the drowner anyway because the movement is really what we care about there. So it's not like we ever really were going to be playing it as our third card this round. Right. Thunder. So, yep, I think you're right. He's getting a little bit greedy. So we still just play the Bruxa, huh? Uh -huh. It plays into circle, but once again, he's buffing up a unit that he might end up having to play. Mm-hmm. And we were going to play into a circle anyway. With all these thrives on board. Tempering. Well, he, he's playing for dominance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at all God. I mean, this guy just screams dominance. So we go. <laughs> well, this dies. Um, this dies to rebuke now. Yeah, and since that's the case, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we should have. Uh thought about that but no i think i think the sequencing is fine we can probably just go for the the seven the conqueror right now get the ghoul set up this world as we have it plays on thrive curve for the um alpha werewolf yeah he might be a lose on even friend unless he's shiru but if we get that shiru out in round one that's great news so he, um, so he plays the Beckers, so he's not... Well, Be they still run Beckers, though, the Shiru friends. Mm -hmm. I, I think we probably go Drowner right here because movement isn't like... You know, this isn't a Keltalus deck or something, right? So we don't really need the movement. Um, and it's just the worst card that we have hanging out in our hand right now. And obviously, it's looking like points don't really matter. Mm -mm. No, he took it too slow. And he might have, like... Uh... going for the dominance <laughs> he got it now i mean he he absolutely mm. got it yeah um well if that's the case this ada plays on thrive curve for this turn and only this turn so we're just dropping it up uh-huh i'd say so and we could still get it back <laughs> the, the mini game of dominance is in place mm -hmm. which could potentially matter on a RNG Oberon roll, but hopefully it wouldn't get to that point. <laughs> right. All right. So we won on even. Which so is perfect. And now we're going into uh, round two. And generally, like, Thrive decks like to have, like, five-ish card rounds rather than, you know, a long round and a short round. They really like those middle-length rounds to maximize the Thrive value. Right. Um, so getting this round control, enabling this bleed is pretty damn good for us. Drop Probably a just a Bruxa mulligan. We're, we're got a nice ass hand here. Oh yeah, look at that. It's beautiful. So we're good. Oh yeah. So do we go, we go Yeghern first or do we go, 
Well, it's only getting five armor either way, so let's just go Griffin first. Yeah, the, and uh, then... if he is a Shiru friend, it's going to get kind of awkward for him unless he double buffed it. Because, mm -hmm. like, we don't have fives now. Cursor yeah, corruption. not... What? <laughs> yeah, so it's it's the snapshot list. It's it's not Shiru. It's, he has Heat Wave, um, Gord, and Skaggs. So we just, okay. So do Fair we, enough. Do we go for the invader now? Oberon? Or do we take, um, take the ghoul? I think... Well... Hmm. Uh, I'm also thinking about an Egrin, maybe? But no, probably not yet. He always has let's, a leader ping on it. You know what I mean? It's Uh-huh. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's just go for the ghoul. And then probably go for the Egrin next. Um... Then if we end this round with three cards in hand, we're going to end up having um, a six-card round three, which is pretty good for us. We'd probably maybe want it to be, like, one card shorter. But if that means saving Osril, Goliath, and uh, Oberon, I, I think that's a pretty damn solid round three hand, especially if we maintain last sight to potentially play around a Heat Wave. Justice. Now, he, oh, he, have done it. No. Did he, he didn't buff him. Well, he didn't buff that one. Did he buff right. the other one? <laughs> Leave it to us. Okay, and then the other two probably went on to the uh, Sentinels, you would assume. Right. Um, what's our what's our big unit situation in Grave? Uh, just the seven. Okay. So we're going to have to go for the Egern, and because of that, we're also probably going to have to go for the Goliath, just in case he heat waves the Egern. It dies to circle, that's the only thing. So he plays protector and circles it? Yeah, if that happens, we probably feel comfortable enough passing, maybe. But if he heat waves, we uh, we definitely go Goliath here. Set up that Osril. Alright. And I'm thinking maybe we might be able to deny his leader death blow. Maybe. It's a it's a bit of a stretch, and it would involve not committing our leader for a while. Right. But it might be something that we consider. Especially if he uses like a forest protector or rebuke or something. Oh, he's just straight up leader in now, huh? Okay. Fine by me. I'm assuming that's all the all god buffs. I would think, unless you put one on Gord, maybe. Right. Uh, Ooh, one there of is them, the one. One's on Skags. Oh, okay. This list runs of Skags. Yeah, yeah, it's Skags and. Uh... He played all of his hand buff in round one, though, didn't he? Which means he, um, like he he played the Circle of Life in round one when he had to be all godding the skags in deck, right? Right. So that's good news. Yeah, he might um, not even... Well, he has a Nero, so he has it on call for sure. So do we just go for the Oberon? No, I don't think so. I I think we're probably passing here. Get our five card round three. Capitalize on our leader value. We got his leader out. So that's good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gord's 13 right now. 14 with the Nero. Mm -hmm. it's certainly not small but at the same time we uh we got a pretty good hand too right what's uh what are our goals looking like okay beast and old spirit too we just um, leave this alone yeah probably that conquer is an eight point card with the third form oberon we got so i like he might have a squirrel which kind of sucks. But, I mean, uh, it's a four-point card, so I guess it doesn't suck as bad. He doesn't... We could use leader, too. So we'll he, ha he has skags in here. Buff doing four damage right now, yeah? Yeah. Um... 
Okay. Well, since Oberon can spawn up uh, three power things, I think we go for Oberon first. I uh, make sure to place him at the front left row. So we're going. Oberon, I mean. Leader? Uh huh. Leader first. And Oberon on the front left. Yep. That way his ability procs before all the thrives. I came, I saw, Got him. I conquered. Again. We have writers in deck? We do, right? Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, hypothetically, if we hit like the three power uh, dominance cards right there, Oberon gets the dominance for himself and makes it so that it's actually on Thrive Curve. He takes out the. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. Um, but we do know he, his Skaggs is doing six damage, so that makes the Beast a bad move. Right. Um, might as well use the Conqueror right now, just in case he wants to get removal value on the Oberon. I could definitely see him going for that. Nice. And assuming he does go for that, is Beast going to be more points for us? Probably not. It's going to go 6, 8, 10. Yep. So it, it's by 1. Uh-huh. If, if it, he was to go for it, but he didn't, so. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. It's that removal value. Um. So we just take the 9, huh? Uh, is there a way that he ends up taking out, like, a 12 in some sort of way? Like, is there a way we could get extra Goliath value somehow? No. Or should we... Should we just play around, like, a squirrel? I guess we're always beating a squirrel. I don't know. Sequencing doesn't really matter here, does it? No, I don't think so. Should we just take the old spear tip? Yep. Because it's going to be a Gordon Skaggs, right? Should... Oh, it's a Nero. One's a Nero. Mm -hmm. So... Wait, didn't he just use Onero on the Treant? Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, it's completely gone. So the Skaggs hits for aye, aye, six. Yep. Yeah. Pretty big, but I think we got this one. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, the Gord's going to be... Uh, might be enough. By, like, one? Yeah, to, like, tie. Maybe. I don't know. That would have to be one hell of a Gord. <laughs> I had one earlier today. I forced it out of him. It was Woo! a 25. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Wow, look at that. Your intuition. Saying might be enough to tie him. Look at that. Good game. Good game. So, taking out the snapshot list. That's that's pretty impressive. Oh, yeah. Unga bunga. <laughs> Mr. Busher, thanks for recording, sir. We appreciate you. Um... If you got any um, anything you want to say to the wonderful Gwent community, give a go ahead right now. Anything that I want to say to the wonderful Gwent community, uh, or the Dark Souls uh, community. True, I've been having a whole lot of fun playing Dark Souls recently. Right. I don't know so much about Gwent, and that's why I made this unga bunga list, man. But uh, for real though, I appreciate you having me on. I've uh, I've really had quite a fun time making this video. Awesome, dude. We appreciate you, man. Uh, like always, guys, uh, he also has another video up on this, so if you want more of it, check it out on his channel. All his stuff will be linked in the description, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube. Um, wonderful Gwen community member, man. We're happy to have you. Like always, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, Monday's Ladder Leverage Day. We have one of the TLG guys come on and play with a scrub like me. So... Thank you guys for watching so much, and we'll see you next time.